Hey guys, it's Alam. In today's video, I'm going, to be showing, I'm going to be showing you guys a couple more interesting things I found in the Bedrock Edition Farlands. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So, for the first thing I'm, I'm, going, to, I'm going to show you guys in today's video, I actually have to go into, I actually have to jump into the Nether here. As the, as in the Overworld, the fringe lands used to generate with comb-like artifacts and such. But, no, uh, but those have been removed in the newer patches, just like the Sky Grid. But anyway, if I type in slash TP, 12,561,029, then 100, not 1,000, 100, and then 49,000 on the Z-axis, you're going to see something pretty interesting. All right. So it's face outward. So immediately as, this ma as the map loads up here, you're going to see that there, that there are still quite a few every four block artifacts generating to, you know, generating to the left of, of, where, of my position. That is, that is before 49,020 or so on the z-axis. Yet past 49,020 on the z-axis, we see absolutely none of these artifacts whatsoever and just 1D and 2D panels of land. So, so the point at where the comb, where the comb-like artifacts and dotted lines of blocks stop generating on the z-axis within the X fringe lands is, is exactly at 8,388,608 units of low or high noise away from the center this may be this might be related to floating point precision loss within the train generator in the same way as the repetitive and symmetrical structure of the farlands near the near the corners and the same occurs in the end as well and presumably in the over and presumably in the overworld you know, in the art, in the versions in the older versions where the, where artifacts like these still generated in the overworld fringe lands So yeah, I, so I first discovered this after I noticed initially that the fringe lands near the center would generate artifacts such as these, like such as repeating p columns, like you like see here, or dotted lines of blocks, or repeating strips of uh, four blocks, or you, or occasionally comb-like structures. Here's in the exit. Yet when we went in the what yet in the yet in the fringe lands in the x direction near the and near the corner, that is where the z axis is also very large. We didn't see any of that. So yeah. So that's not all I have to show you guys today. Actually, let's head back here to the middle here. Slash tp one fifty three and then one. All right. So it should put us right by our portal. So let's head back into the overworld. And now let's enter, uh, let's enter in slash TP. Negative 12,550,820. 100. Negative 1. Or just, or just, or actually, or just negative 1,000. Here. So yeah, then. so I've already showed you guys before how the negative X far lands are just are just empty C like this, and f and for a while the traditional far lands would generate here, as I showcased in an 800 view video from back in March. But apparently it's reverted back. Anyway, anyway. Now I will anyway now I will discuss my theories as to why the Windows 10 and Xbox Edition Farlands are just like this, you know, just like you see here. So, these platforms likely handle the overflow, not by clumping, but by wrapping around. So, so the integer part wraps all the way around to the other side of the 30, of the 32-bit range, whereas the floating point part is still going 
and the integer and floating point parts work together to calculate a remainder to be used in, for use in interpolation. So, so when the integer part wraps around the floating point part, it will then be almost exactly 2 to the 32 above the integer part. Now, if you remember, now if you remember from my from my, from my previous explanations of why the fringe lands happen, why the fringe lands generate, you may recall that a remainder of 35.542 million was just enough to, was just enough to cause the as a single precision floating point overflow in the equation that the game uses, which was 6x to the 5th minus 15x to the 4th plus 10x cubed. And, 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 and the remainder in, the, in, the, in that case, the remainder in the case of the, of the wrapping around, the wrap around is, is about 4.295 billion, which when plugged into the equation would of course give about 10, on the order of 10 to the 49, much larger than 3.4082 times 10 to the 38th. So, yeah. So if only those versions of the game use 64-bit floating point, <laughs> could use 64-bit floating point numbers for interpolation instead of 32-bit, like here, then we might see something much more similar to the shard far lands that I checked out a, in a video I made a couple weeks ago over on Java. So, yeah. Or maybe just the overflow is not handled at all and it causes the whole algorithm to fail, but, um, but I highly doubt that. So, yeah, guys. So, yeah, guys. Uh, that's pretty much all I've got for today. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and consider, subs and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, and hit the bell and click on all for all notifications. And goodbye.